Hi and welcome to our video. We had heavy rain all through the night and it was still pouring when we got up the next morning. We noticed we had water coming into our motorhome and the weather forecast was dreadful, with relentless heavy rain and flood warnings in place. We were surrounded by waterfalls and there was a river right by the campsite, so we decided we had to leave to try and find better weather and get out of the rain. We grabbed as many towels and cloths as we could find to absorb any more rain getting in, packed up in record time and began our journey heading back. At this point we had only spent two nights out of the three we had paid for here at Camping Jungfrau, but the pitch was saturated and with the water ingress and no sign of the rain stopping any time soon, we had no choice but to cut our trip short. We carefully made our way back through Lauterbrunnen towards Interlaken, where we would join the A8. So this is how we end up Shades of blue and grey I feel just like an empty bottle My dreams are on delay I just want to climb on top of a hill And throw it all away, away my mind spins off and I am all derailed, derailed Just die. Despite the gloomy weather, it was still lovely to drive alongside Lake Thun. So this is how we end up. The game is set to play. We looked at the weather forecast and the drier weather was over in France, so that was where we headed. When we stopped for some lunch, we both had a look on our phones for somewhere to stop for the night. We found a campsite on Pitchup and booked this online and then made our way there. All the way to the rainbow's end. Just right. And we'll never turn our backs again. We eventually arrived at Camping de la Croix d'Al. Check in here is from 9am until 8.30pm with departures by 4pm. We were told we could choose whichever pitch we wanted. All of the hard standing pitches have been taken so we searched for the driest looking grass pitch we could find. Here is a map of the site. As you can see, it's quite a large place. It looked like this region had also had its fair share of rain, but at least it had now stopped. We got ourselves set up and went for a wander to stretch our legs. Music 
There is a bar by reception which is open every day between 2.30 and 8pm. There is also a pizza truck which is open Wednesday to Monday from 5.30 until 8.30pm. You will also find the swimming pool in this area which is open between May and September weather permitting. You can order fresh bread and croissants in reception to collect the next morning. I'd already ordered a baguette when we checked in. After a rather stressful day, we decided to have a couple of drinks in the bar and ordered a Royale pizza and a vegetarian one to take back to our motorhome. Here's a look at the menu. The pizzas were both really tasty. Thankfully, we didn't have any rain overnight, and after collecting our lovely fresh baguette from reception, we set off on our journey again. It was a murky, misty start to the day, but we were grateful it was dry. Do you remember where we used to be? Our ferry was booked for the following day. But we were making good progress, so when we stopped for lunch I phoned Irish Ferries and changed it to the 5.50pm sailing later today to save another overnight stop. So on we proceeded to Calais. Destiny, we already know just what we feel. Just take my hand, I'll be all you need. We encountered a couple of tolls on our journey from the campsite to Calais. The first one was €38.30 Euros 30, and the second was €37.90. Euros 90. Though I tried, I cannot forget. We also stopped for diesel twice on our journey. Our first stop cost us €84.57 Euros 57, at 1.879 per litre, and the second fuel stop cost 68 euros 12 at 1.944 per litre. You made me believe in love again. Open my eyes with the things you say. We arrived at Calais at 3:35 p.m., and we thought that was plenty of time for our ferry, but it was mayhem with people pushing in the queues and it took an absolute age. So much so, we had to be put on a later ferry. We joined our line to board at 6.05pm and we were loaded on at 7.20pm. The ferry finally departed at 9.10pm as they tried to get as many people on board due to the delays. This was our first trip using the ferry. Could anyone please tell us if this is the norm or were we just unlucky? If you could comment below, that would be great. So, what were the travelling and site costs of this trip? We haven't included the Swiss half fare card or any of the excursions as they may not be relevant to everyone. For any figures in euros or Swiss francs, I have converted into pounds sterling using the current exchange rate as it is today. Let's begin with the site costs. The 
total for the site costs came to £506.24. Here is a breakdown of the tolls and vignette charges we incurred. This came to a total of £127.69. Here are the total costs. I've included the £60 amendment fee in the ferry price. So the final cost of the ferry, fuel, tolls and vignette and the sites came to £1,330.87 and we did a total of 1,616 miles in our motorhome. We hope you've enjoyed the videos of our holiday to stunning Switzerland and hope you return to follow our future trips and breaks away. Another trip into Europe has already been planned for later this year and in the meantime we'll be taking lots of breaks in and around the UK. If you've enjoyed watching our videos, we'd be grateful if you could please like and subscribe and we hope to see you again on our next one. Thanks for watching.